Away from Parliament, Dr. George Ekufo Dampare has been appointed Acting Inspector General of Police. He's taken over from James Opombuenu, who begins his terminal leave on August 1st. A statement announcing the appointment of COP Dampari also named a new acting director of the prison service. Here's details of the statement that was issued by the presidency. And it says the president of the Republic, Nane Kofuad, was directed the inspector general of police, Mr. James Opongbuenu, to embark on terminal leave with effect from Sunday, 1st August 2021, pending his retirement from the police service on Thursday, 7th October 2021. Until a substantive inspector general of police is appointed in accordance with the dictates of the constitution, President Okufuado has asked Commissioner of Police George Ekufu Dampari to serve as acting inspector general of police with effect from Sunday 1st August 2021. The president has also asked the director general of the prison's service, Mr. Patrick Dakomisa, to go on terminal leave from Sunday 1st August 2021 with his retirement from the service set to begin on Saturday, 16th, October 2021. He has therefore directed the Deputy Director General of the Prison Service, Isaac Kofia Jury, to act as Director General of the Prison Service from Sunday, 1st, August 2021, until a new Director General is appointed, also in accordance with the Constitution. President Kofuado has conveyed in person his gratitude to both Mr. James Opombuenu and Mr. Patrick Dakumisa, for their dedicated and meritorious services to the nation and to the police and prisons services respectively and wish them the very best in their future endeavors and the statement was signed by eugene ahin director of communications at the office of the president security expert chris Yenin believes the new acting igp will do a good job he spoke on pm express on wednesday it's right for the time He's prepared, he's thought through what he will do as an IG, he's trained people at multiple levels, he's held different appointments, and he's got the guts to deal with anyone who crosses the line. That's what I like about him. For him, this is not a cushy job where he's going to be polite and friendly people because they gave him a job. I think those who gave him this job know that the service is rotting to the core and that they want an IGP who, as a commissioner of police, on the Spintex Road, when there's traffic, when people misuse their sirens, he pulled them over and told them to get back into the queue. Okay, he did these things when it could have risked the possibility of his promotion. So this is an officer who knows that the institutional ethos and the culture of the police service goes against the very grain of his upbringing, of his academic training, and the vision that he has for the service and has throughout his professional career worked hard to ensure that he could marry a sense of professionalism with a duty of care, but more importantly also with from taking the decisions, the operational decisions when necessary, but also being on the front line with his men and women mm. so that he doesn't take those decisions sits in the office or, or goes to sleep and then expects to receive a report the next morning. He has a hands-on approach to doing policing and I'm looking forward to our partnership and our collaboration. And I think he has broad shoulders enough to accept the criticisms that certainly will come from Adam and I.